Whether you're a clerk or a waiter, an accountant or a doctor, your health matters. Hello everyone. Welcome to today's edition of Your Health Matters. I'm Dr. Tasila Tembo Peters. In today's world, a lot of people are living very, very stressful lives due to many reasons like unemployment, domestic disputes, and work overloads. In the program, we have an expert, a psychiatrist, Dr. Chiwoni Siwo, who will explain more about stress and how it can be managed. Mental health has different components. We have um, mood disorders, okay? We have psychotic disorders, we have alcohol and substances, we have anxiety disorders. What is commonly seen at uh, Chanama in the female patients, which is depression, okay? But depression is not the only component of mood disorders. We also have what we call bipolar disorder. Bipolar disorder is basically it, the word, the word uh, bi means two and the poles mean two poles. So basically we have depression and what we call mania. Okay, um, Mania is basically the opposite of uh, depression. A patient will present with having, being very excited, having lots of energy and uh, they're hyperactive. Basically psychosis is being out of touch with reality. The thinking, the way a patient thinks, the way a patient behaves. Uh, one good example is schizophrenia. Schizophrenia is what we commonly see in the streets. Uh, these patients are there. They have distorted thinking and they have different beliefs, which are not in line with our culture. See, I got mentally ill because of smoking and drinking an abuse of drugs and it's marijuana and all sorts of drugs. Just for that moment while you're just smoking, it's like you're just somewhere else, you know. Okay. But immediately you're done smoking, you're back, the problems are back and I, my friends have jobs, I don't have a job. Right now I would have been out of completed school, but I haven't. I wish I would do what my parents tell me to do, but how do I manage to do it? Every time I try to get out of this, I'm threatened, my life is threatened, it's, it's like they say, if I stop doing this, they're going to take my life in. Who was so, saying it? Who was telling you that? Voices that I hear. Okay. All I could hear was my voice, that's so all. I wouldn't hear anybody else's voice. It's like, I was just isolated and left in a room alone. The only voice that I could hear was my own. Okay. But right now, do, are you hearing those voices? All I can hear is a voice and it's saying shadows, you know. Okay. Like it, like fighting, like it wants to like fight me and stuff like that, you know, and bring war into my life. You know? Anxiety, general anxiety disorders, it also has different components. Uh, a common one is post-traumatic stress disorder. This is what we, um, you know, some patients experience when they've gone through like a traumatic exp ex uh, experience, like an accident, they relieve. Um, the events of what occurred and they can't function, okay? Um, if someone was involved in a car accident and then they can't drive their car again because they, they start getting anxious and they, st that they, they start um, going over and over what they experienced. Death, those are life-changing events. A divorce, loss of a job, finances. Initially, you may not know but if eventually you'll find yourself not coping and you're not doing the things that you normally do because you, you're not finding time, time to do them and you're just not, you, you find yourself so overwhelmed and you cannot cope. As a result, you will start feeling sick. The most common one is uh, having a gastric intestinal problem. Uh, we've heard of people having peptic ulcers. Stress basically is a life-changing circumstance that will cause 
uh, someone not to be able to cope with their daily, day-to-day uh, -day, uh, living activities. Stress can cause someone to have hypertension, okay, and cardiac arrhythmias, even heart attacks. When people are stressed, they can develop skin conditions. Uh, one common one is dermatitis, psoriasis. Uh, I think people have seen people um, biting their nails, their fingernails. Patients have to do that a lot, especially the young ones. There's, you know, that's a sign of stress. Okay. Um, other conditions that present, the common one is lower back pain. Okay. And this back pain only occurs when they're going through a particular stressful event. In absence of that, they won't be experiencing that backache. Another common one is the headache. So patients do complain of it, but people tend to ignore it. Uh, quite commonly, we know um, asthmatic patients have asthmatic attacks when they're, having, they're feeling stressed. Okay, so that's something that should be you know, taken into account and managed. That's why it's important to manage stress well, because it manifests as a physical condition. Stress is preventable if we all lead healthy lifestyles. When I say healthy lifestyles, I'm talking about exercising, managing time well, and when you identify, when you feel that you are overwhelmed and you're not um, coping, get help. Where does help come from? We can come from family, spouses, friends. You can see a psychologist or even ask the psychiatrist. Someone can do relaxation exercises, breathing exercises. It's important to identify what's stressing you out. Find ways of dealing with whatever it is you're going through, okay? Is it you having a workload and then you're not having enough time? Learn to share responsibilities as well. Uh, people tend to take on so much, be it at work, be it at home. Take time out and say, look, I'm feeling stressed. Let me just take a breather and just take time out. It is important to note that stress can be managed effectively by exercise, managing one's time, as well as seeking medical advice. Stress can, however, also cause one to want to take one's life. Dr. Siwo explains. People with mental disorders are at high risk of committing suicide. People who are not able to cope with, you know, stressful life events also tend to commit suicide. There are some patients who have been known to have committed suicide after getting bad news, you know, news that they cannot deal with. Maybe being tested positive for different illnesses. Some of the warning signs, patients are, people tend to be more withdrawn, they, f they talk of dying, there are even suicide notes. Some patients actually write suicide notes, saying goodbye to loved ones. I think the best thing is just to bring them to the hospital. You know, we, we give encouragement and some medication as well. And they also need to have uh, therapy, individual therapy and group therapy. And with group therapy, they'll find themselves with other patients who have um, you know, thoughts of committing suicide, and they all share their experiences, and they all uh, uh, support each other. As a society, we should look at the signs and symptoms. If, you know, sometimes we ignore the signs and symptoms, sometimes they're actually there, the warning signs are there, okay? So before that happens, we could get someone help. Well, viewers, you now know that stress can be managed effectively, and that suicide can be avoided. If you see anyone with symptoms of mental disorders in your homes or your workplaces, take them to the nearest hospital for expert advice. This has been Dr. Tassila Tembo Peters on Your Health Matters. It matters, it matters, your health, your health matters.
Whether you're a student or a mother, I love. 